Do you ever wonder why games like Super Mario, Celeste, Sonic and all the popular games just feel so good to play and some not so popular games just don't? Why? I think the biggest reason could be the gameplay because of course it's games and gameplay is the only thing that actually matters for a game. Developers often create unique mechanics and gameplay options for the player but ignore the core mechanics like for a platformer if you're jumping and the movement doesn't feel right no matter how great your idea is it wouldn't feel right because the player wouldn't get the core and the classic experience that they want from a platformer. I recently watched a GDC talk video about creating a better jump and I wondered why shouldn't I just create it in Gado and share it with you guys. So in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to create better jumps in Gado. So let's get started. Okay, here we are in Gido. We got a simple scene with our player and our environment. Let's go ahead and add a script to the player. We will name the script player script. In here, we'll need a variety of variables to control the properties. We will start by creating an export group. We'll name it movement. Under the export group, we'll create an export variable and we'll name it moosepy. It's going to be a type of float and I'm going to be setting the value to 150.0. This will create a drop down in the inspector with the variable under it so we can directly control it in a much more organized way. Under this, we'll create another export category called jump design. These are going to be the export variables that you can tweak to get your desired jump effect. First of all, we'll have the jump height. The jump height is going to be a float which will determine how high the player will reach. Then jump time to peak is the amount of time that it will take the player to reach the highest possible point. It's going to be anything you set or your jump height. Time to fall is the amount of time it will take the player to reach the ground after reaching the peak. Under this we'll create some variables that you don't need to know because these are just some variables that are subjected to my game and may vary for your game. These do not have any interference with our calculation for the best physics jump so you can ignore them if you want. Now comes the important part. We'll create some variables that we'll use for our calculations and these are the variables that we'll need for our results. Jump velocity, the jump gravity and fall gravity. Let's get rusty with the calculations. Let's go ahead and create a new underscore ready function. We'll use this to calculate the values as soon as the game start. First of all we have the jump velocity. The jump velocity is equal to minus 2.0 multiplied by the jump height divided by the time to peak. Then we have the jump gravity. Jump gravity is equal to 2.0 multiplied by jump height and divided by in brackets time to peak multiplied by time to peak I mean two times you know uh, fall gravity is equal to 2 multiplied by jump height and uh, time to fall multiplied by time to fall then uh, I have the calculation for variable jump gravity which is not necessarily needed in your situation maybe but I will calculate it. With this we have a set of tools and values ready to be used. So whenever we need for gravity we can use the jump gravity for the jumping and fall gravity for falling. And whenever we need our player to jump we can use the jump height as the y value. Since these values are automatically calculated to your preference of the value variables that you set this can be always perfect and as you need. So really nice. Now we can just go ahead and test it by setting up the values in the inspector according to our desire. Let's go ahead and set up some values and let's run. Now uh, if I run around and we can move and if I jump you can see as my preference the player goes up a bit slowly and comes down a bit faster. This is the desire value I wanted and you can tweak the values according to your desire. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. 
I will leave the link to the, the script of the player and the project files uh, if you want to test them out. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. And uh, if you know the deal, like, share, like, share, subscribe, stuff, stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next one.